Uh, Billy, how about the true freshmen on this team that are playing and, and performing, specifically Whit Weeks? Are, are you surprised to see him making as big of an impact here in year one as as the linebacker is for, for the Tigers? You know, it's funny, uh, Matthew Bruni, who works with us, uh, bumped, uh, and I had no idea I was going to do that, but bumped uh, myself and Charles Power, our national director of uh, rankings, talking about Whit Weeks back in January. And we had both seen him at the All-American Bowl in San Antonio. And he was uh, just one of the top two linebackers there, if not the top linebacker, just in terms of overall performance that week. And that's why we talk about senior years. We talked about all-star opportunities for these guys to see them best on best because you see how they match up athletically. And I remember on day one, uh, Whit Weeks, you know, had to cover Jameer Gibbs, uh, one of the, the, the top running backs, um, or actually, no, it was Justice, Justice Haynes, I think, whoever signed with Alabama, uh, the five-star running back out, out of, um, uh, uh, in the last class. But, um, he had to cover him one-on-one and he's one of the top athletes in, in the country. And he closed the gap so well um, and was able to track him down. Yeah, it was Justice Haynes. Um, and that was when it kind of clicked for me where I was like, okay, we saw what Whit Weeks did as a senior. He played both sides of the ball. Um, he k- even returned a kick for a touchdown. He has it going on. And for him to come out and have that type of a performance, it really sealed it for me as far as, all right, this guy can do this. Our thought was maybe in a year – he needed, you know, that weight room. LSU had some guys coming back, some guys coming in. But athletically, he checked all the boxes, and he has that nasty streak. So it doesn't surprise me um, that he's uh, playing and, and getting in a little bit of run. But it, it surprises me that it came so quickly that he's starting and, and doing all of those things. He's earned it. He's, he's an awesome, awesome kid. Um, from the other freshman, Deshaun Walmack, in his production, how, how much do you – expect his his output to, to to uptick here with the way that he's he's making an impact on the game only five snaps last week but really uh some of the i mean the most production that the defense showed all night was when he was in there yeah yeah you've got it you've got to get him in the game it's kind of like how harold perkins role emerged last year they they threw deshaun womack out there and and he's got to get more snaps so i, I think you'll see his role uh increase uh, it, it's not what he did at, in those snaps is not different than what we saw as a senior and, and uh, to, not to harp on it, but he was a five star for a reason for on three. Uh, he played some of the top competition nationally and just absolutely dominated um, on the high school level. I mean, multiple sacks a game, forcing fumbles, uh, hurries, tackles for loss. Um, and so it's, he was physically ready for this, and, and he added weight, and I know he missed the spring, but then kind of it's been a process for him to get ready conditioning-wise probably for this and get used to uh, the Louisiana heat as well. But uh, for him to do that in such limited snaps, you've got to get him on the field more, and uh, we love to see it. I mean, I, he was one of the best uh, that I saw all fall last year uh, and on the recruiting side of things. So Lance Hurd's name kept popping up in fall camp. We've seen him a couple of times here early in September. How do you expect him to transition him into the, the five? Because it, it still seems like when he's out there, he can make them the best five. He's just It looks like they, they're just kind of stringing him along to, to, to get that trust. Yeah, I, I think that you put it in a, in a great way. I mean, the, the trust with him and also just kind of, hey, here's what you're doing well. Here's where you need to improve. And let's take that game tape and then apply it in practice where, you know, you only had in, in fall camp that, that practice tape to go off of. And, yes, it's intense and it's fall camp and the SEC and all those things, but it's it's nothing like the games. And so you – now have that where you can help him. Remember, he's only played offensive line now. I guess this would be his third year. Um, He played it as a junior um, and then then as a senior. So he's still developing, and he is such a massive human. And and as he's, you know, gotten into the weight program and and, uh, added mass and and cleaned up his body a little bit too, it's probably a learning process for him on on how how to best use his size. And so he's just continuing to come along. I think by the end of the year, he's probably in that group firmly um, because he does make them the best five. I mean, just having a guy that big out there 
just really solidifies things for for an offensive line and and the way he can move at that size too is impressive. So he's got he's got some things to continue to learn and and pick up on, but a really really good start.